business news with Irv Weinstein. Rick Azar on sports. And Tom Jules with the weather outside. Now, Eyewitness News. Topping tonight's Eyewitness News, the darkest day in the history of the Buffalo Fire Department. This is Eyewitness News Tonight. Now, with Western New York's number one newscast, here with Irv Weinstein is Don Postles. Topping Eyewitness News tonight, sudden death along a Chautauqua County road. This is Western New York's number one newscast, Eyewitness News Tonight, with Irv Weinstein and Don Postles. Rick Azar on sports and Tom Jules with the weather outside. Now, Eyewitness News. Now, Don Postles. Topping Eyewitness News tonight. This is Eyewitness News at noon. Now, with Western New York's number one newscast, here is Nona Barbie. They're getting ready to honor the lady. Good afternoon, everyone. At the top of Eyewitness News at noon. Channel 7, Buffalo. It's 11 o'clock. Do you know where your children are? This is Eyewitness News Nightcast. Now with Western New York's number one newscast, here with Mary McCombs is Irv Weinstein. Topping Eyewitness News Nightcast, almost one month into winter, it is finally beginning to look and feel like winter. This is Eyewitness News Nightcast. Now, with Western New York's number one newscast, here with Ann Edwards is Irv Weinstein. This is Eyewitness News Nightcast. Now, with Western New York's number one newscast, here is Penny Daniels. Topping Eyewitness News Nightcap. Channel 7, Buffalo. This is Eyewitness News Nightcast. Now, with Western New York's number one newscast, here is Dan Housley. Topping Eyewitness News Nightcast. Channel 7, Buffalo. It's 11 o'clock. Do you know where your children are? This is Eyewitness News Nightcast. Now, with Western New York's number one newscast, here is Dan Housley. Channel 7, Buffalo. It's 11 o'clock. Do you know where your children are? is Eyewitness News Nightcast. Now, with Western New York's number one newscast, here is Sheila Mahoney. Topping Eyewitness News Nightcast, a bridge on the New York State Thruway crumbled. This is Eyewitness News Nightcast. Now, with Western New York's number one newscast, here is Ann Edwards. Topping Eyewitness News Nightcast. Channel 7, Buffalo. It's 11 o'clock. Do you know where your children are? This is Eyewitness News Nightcast. Now, with Western New York's number one newscast, here with Mary McCombs is Irv Weinstein. Topping Eyewitness News Nightcast, it was touch and go for a while tonight in the Wyoming County community of Bliss. This is Eyewitness News Nightcast. Now, with Western New York's number one newscast, here is Irv Weinstein. 
Topping Eyewitness News Night cast, an explosive situation on Buffalo's west side. Channel 7, Buffalo. It's 11 o'clock. Do you know where your children are? This is Eyewitness News Nightcast. Now, with the latest from Western New York's number one news team, here is Sheila Mahoney. Topping Eyewitness News, Nightcast, a father allegedly kills his family. Western New York's favorite news team. Here's Susan Banks. Linda Pellegrino with the AccuWeather forecast. And Bob Kuczynski Sports. This is Eyewitness News at noon. You're watching News Channel 7, WKBW-TV, Buffalo. Now, from Western New York's favorite news team, here's Gene Hill. Meteorologist Dr. Bill Rogers forecast and Rick Zurak Sports. This is Eyewitness News. Does it storm veterans in the town of Boston get a rousing welcome home? The following broadcast of Eyewitness News is closed captioned for the hearing impaired. Now. From WKBW-TV News Channel 7, here's Keith Ranford and Kathleen Layton with Eyewitness News at 5. She stands accused of a shocking crime. And now the woman accused of killing her two young sons faces death threats and the death penalty. With Eyewitness News at 6. More allegations of sexual abuse against a man of the cloth. WKBW-TV News Channel 7. We continue now with Eyewitness News at 11. From WKBW-TV, this is Channel 7 Eyewitness News at 6 with Irv Weinstein, Susan Banks, Tom Jones with the exclusive AccuWeather forecast, and sports with John Murphy. I'm Irv Weinstein. Topping Eyewitness News at 6. It took Tom Jones two hours to drive from his suburban Buffalo home to Channel 7. Does that tell you anything about what's happening out there? Live from WKBW-TV, this is Channel 7 Eyewitness News at 6 with Keith Ranford, Susan Banks, Tom Jones with the exclusive AccuWeather forecast and sports with John Murphy. We just heard from Andrew Siff about Tom's plans for what he's going to be doing when he is retired. And we're watching Channel 7, WKBW TV, Buffalo. It's 11 o'clock. Do you know where your children are? Tonight, continuing coverage on making a dangerous roadway safe by cracking down on speed demons. New tonight, Buffalo reworks its civic blueprint for the new millennium. But our top story, a no-show mayor in Niagara Falls is making it difficult to conduct some critical business. Good evening, I'm Keith Ranford. I'm Susan Banks, topping Eyewitness News at 11. Live from WKBW-TV, this is Channel 7 Eyewitness News at 11 with Luke Moretti, Gene Hill, and Andy Parker with the exclusive AccuWeather forecast. Health officials say mail-order Viagra could be a dangerous practice. Good 
Good morning. Welcome to the Thursday edition of AM Buffalo. We're coming to you live from Channel 7 Studios downtown. I'm John Summers. Now, please welcome Linda Pellegrino and her guest co-host from Elio DiPaolo's Restaurant and Ringside Lounge, Dennis DiPaolo. All right, thank you. Good morning, right. Johnny, and everybody, thank you so much for tuning in today on this rainy day. We've got schools canceled. Some kids are delayed for a couple of hours. From WKBW TV, you're watching Channel 7's Eyewitness News at 5. With Keith Radford, Maria Gennaro, meteorologist Mike Randall with the weather outside, and sports with John Murphy. You're watching Channel 7, WKBW-TV, Buffalo. It's 11 o'clock. Do you know where your children are? Live from WKBW-TV, you're watching Channel 7's Eyewitness News at 11. With Keith Radford. Susan Banks. Meteorologist Mike Randall with the weather outside. And Sports with John Murphy. Good evening, everyone. Live from WKBW-TV, you're watching Channel 7's Eyewitness News tonight. With Luke Moretti. Meteorologist Aaron Mentkowski with the weather outside. And Sports with Aaron... Labor news tonight, Comair flies between Buffalo and Cincinnati. I'm John Kasich. We're breaking into ABC's coverage to bring you local reaction to the attack on the United States. We're watching Channel 7's Eyewitness News at 5 with Keith Redford, Susan Banks, Meteorologist Mike Randall with the AccuWeather forecast, Mary Travers Action 7 Report, and Sports with John Murphy. Now live from WKBW-TV at 7 Broadcast Plaza, this is Channel 7's Eyewitness News at 5. You're watching Channel 7's Eyewitness News at 6 with Keith Bradford, Susan Banks, meteorologist Mike Randall, Mary Travers, Action 7 Report, and Sports with John Murphy. Now live from WKBW-TV at 7 Broadcast Plaza, this is Channel 7's Eyewitness News at 6. Lots of people head to the park on Labor Day. Live, local, late breaking. This is 7 News This Morning. With Maria Gennaro. Meteorologist Aaron Minkowski. Exclusive Business First reporter Elizabeth Carey. And NFTA traffic and transit updates with Dave Cash. And good morning, everyone. Four twenty nine and forty four degrees, and Mike Randall. It's chilly in Denver Hills. As a matter of fact, they saw even a few of the white flakes, didn't they? I'm sorry, I was just talking to my weather guest. I don't even know what you said, Linda. I Live, local, late breaking. This is Seven News at noon. Live, local, late breaking. This is Seven News at five. Good evening, I'm Susan Banks. And I'm Keith Ranford. Here are the top stories we're working on today. 7 News at 5 starts now. Live, local, late breaking. This is 7 News at 5.30. Good evening, I'm Bridget White. And I'm Ken Houston. Here are the top stories we're working on today. Seven News at 6. 
Good evening once again. I'm Susan Banks. Keith has the night off. Live, local, late breaking. This is 7 News at 6. With Keith Radford, Susan Banks, meteorologist Mike Randall, Mary Travers, Action 7 Reports, and Sports with John Murphy. Live, local, late breaking. This is 7 News at 11. It's 11 o'clock. Do you know where your children are? 7 News at 11 starts now. Topping eyewitness news this morning. A double deadly tragedy on a college campus. Happening now, it's the cleanup after the storm. Also this morning, preparing for a gubernatorial visit. Plus, a chat with Robin Roberts about her battle with cancer. Details on all those stories and much more right now on Eyewitness News This Morning. This is Channel 7's Eyewitness News This Morning. Good morning, everyone. This is Channel 7 Eyewitness News This Morning. I'm Laura Gray in for Bridget Blythe. This is Channel 7's Eyewitness News This Morning. Cold out. Good morning, yeah, everybody. Like, yes. <laughs> I'm Bridget Blythe here with meteorologist Aaron Mankowski. It's Wednesday, January 21st. This is Channel 7's Eyewitness News at noon. This is Channel 7's Eyewitness News at 6. Good evening once again. Topping Eyewitness News tonight. In it's 11 o'clock. Do you know where your children are? This is Channel 7's Eyewitness News at 11. New developments tonight in Vote 2008. Now, from 7 Broadcast Plaza, this is Eyewitness News this morning. Good morning. I'm Ginger Jeffrey. Patrick Taney is under the weather this morning. From 7 Broadcast Plaza. This is Eyewitness News this morning. Wow, so that's what HD looks like. Wow, look at us. We're in HD. <laughs> you look very nice. Yeah, I'm just like, like looking at it. We look different. Maybe the shot's different or Let's something. Let's just sit here and, and watch this for a while. We look I wonder, different. Well, I wonder how much uh, Mike Randall's changed a little bit, don't you think, too? Wait a minute. You I think HD? HD. I thought it was going to be in 3D. Oh. <laughs> Not yet. You're that's, kidding me. That's another decade or Live from 7 Broadcast Plaza, this is Eyewitness News at 5. Topping Eyewitness News at 5 tonight. Live from 7 Broadcast Plaza, this is Eyewitness News at 5. Gunman Ricardo McRae goes on a shooting spree one year ago today, leaving four people dead and four others injured. Also, preseason to their first preseason matchup. And Veterans Day at the fair. The rain hasn't stopped the crowds from checking out the Erie County Fair. Live from 7 Broadcast Plaza, this is Eyewitness News at 6. Good evening, everyone. I'm Kendra Eaglin, topping Eyewitness News at 6. It's 11 o'clock. Do you know where your children are? Tonight, tense standoff. A man holds police at bay on Buffalo's east side, and only eyewitness news cameras are there. Also, building collapse. Rescue workers still trying to reach a Buffalo contractor who is trapped under tons of concrete and steel in Florida. And it's festival weekend. If you have an eye for art, then Buffalo's historic Allentown neighborhood is the place to be for the next couple of days. Good evening once again. I'm Keith Radford. Joanna is off tonight. You're watching Eyewitness News with Kendra Eaglund, John Borsa, 
meteorologist Autumn Lewandowski, and sports anchor Sean Stepner. You're watching Eyewitness News with Kendra Eveland, meteorologist Autumn Lewandowski, and sports anchor Sean Stepner. Right now on 7 Eyewitness News at 5, breaking news we first reported for you earlier today live with Terry Pagula making his first public comments since beginning his bid to buy the Buffalo Bills. Also ahead, we're live tonight with the latest on a terrorist threat that's hitting close to home. Sunny with temps in the 60s today. We're much cooler tomorrow. I'll talk about that coming up. From 7 Broadcast Plaza, this is Eyewitness News. You saw it first here on 7 Eyewitness News. We were on the air live from New York City earlier this afternoon. Live from downtown Buffalo, this is 7 Eyewitness News at 4.30. 4.30 on your Friday morning. Good morning, I'm Katie Morrison. We begin with breaking overnight news in Cheektowaga. Where now, with your New York Emmy-winning newscast, this is 7 Eyewitness News at 6. Good morning, everybody. 6 o'clock on a Friday. Depending on where you're waking up across western New York, you could be seeing some rain as you start out your day. We're watching 7 Eyewitness News with Katie Mars, Ed Dranch, and 7 First Alert Chief Meteorologist, Aaron Minkowski. Good morning, 5 o'clock on a Friday. Toronto, T.O. Courtney Corbett is with me. We've got our purses. We are shopping. We are visiting. We are going to restaurants. So much new to visit up in this beautiful city, which is right around the corner from Western New York. Now with 7 First Alert Weather, this is 7 Eyewitness News at 5. You are looking live inside New Era Field, where we are just over three hours away from kickoff of Monday Night Football in Western New York. Now with 7 First Alert Weather, this is 7 Eyewitness News at 530. Well, good evening once again. So summer temperature is going to hang around. I'm senior meteorologist Mike Randall. I'll have your 7 First Alert Weather. I'm Jill Perkins. A deadly collision between two planes in Lancaster. The details coming up. Plus, a teenage girl struck by a van three years ago in Westica dies from her injuries. Now with 7 First Alert Weather, this is 7 Eyewitness News at 11. A fun day of flying taking a deadly turn here in Western New York and now federal agents on the scene investigating. Right now on 7 Eyewitness News at 11, ready for combat. Sailors impress and inspire me every day, and I cannot be more privileged to serve alongside them. A historic day on Buffalo's waterfront as the U.S. Navy welcomes its newest warship. Plus, tragedy in the southern tier, a deadly crash claims the life of a town supervisor and his wife. And after sexual misconduct allegations, Chief Mario Batali issues an apology with a recipe. Now with 7 First Alert Weather, this is 7 Eyewitness News at 11. This has been a phenomenal week for the Little Rockers. Now with 7 First Alert Weather, this is 7 Eyewitness News. Good evening, I'm Hannah Bueller. It is Saturday, September 5th, and here are some stories making local headlines tonight. This is breaking news from 7 Eyewitness News. We have some big news from the world of local sports with a possible shakeup at One Bills Drive. 7 Eyewitness News is following breaking news this noon. Chief Dewanga police tell us they're investigating the suspicious death of a two-month-old baby. Oh, the Lake Effect snow machine is up and running once again. The 716 in two minutes, brought to you by Custom Carpet Centers. Good evening, I'm Jeff Russo from 7 Eyewitness News. Now broadcasting and streaming live from 7 Broadcast Plaza, this is 7 Eyewitness News at noon. We are getting a break from the oppressive heat, but with the cool down comes clouds and the threat of rain as we take a live look from downtown Buffalo. Hello and thank you for joining us at this noon hour. I'm Ashley Rowe. 
Now broadcasting and streaming live from Seven Broadcast Plaza, this is 7 Eyewitness News at 5. Here, but those numbers that were so high. Now broadcasting and streaming live from Seven Broadcast Plaza. This is Seven Eyewitness News at 5:30. Good evening, once again. I'm Keith Ranford. Our top story at 5:30 tonight. You're watching 7 Eyewitness News with Keith Radford and 7 First Alert Meteorologist Autumn Lewandowski. Here's what happened on Wall Street in New York today. The Dow Jones Industrial Average way up gained 210 points. Now broadcasting and streaming live from 7 Broadcast Plaza, this is 7 Eyewitness News at 6. Good evening once again. Now broadcasting and streaming live from 7 Broadcast Plaza, this is 7 Eyewitness News at 7. Now broadcasting and streaming live from 7 Broadcast Plaza, this is 7 Eyewitness News at 7. A two-year-old raid of Buffalo City Hall is back on the front burner as the mayor of Buffalo faces the toughest election of his life. Now broadcasting and streaming live from 7 Broadcast Plaza, this is 7 Eyewitness News at 11. More hopeful news tonight as the total number of COVID-19 hospitalizations continues to go down. Now broadcasting and streaming live from 7 Broadcast Plaza, this is 7 Eyewitness News. Hi there, good morning, 4.30 on a Monday. This is breaking news from 7 Eyewitness News. We begin this morning with a traffic alert that could impact your commute in Cheektowaga this morning. You my message to the community, those who are still protesting from the city of Buffalo, is to go home. A state of emergency is now in effect for all of Erie County. Hey, good evening, everyone. I'm Taylor Epps from 7 News. Happening right now on Good Morning Buffalo as Niagara County looks to better connect rural and urban parts of the community. Why officials say bringing everyone together is so important. Plus, I've been digging through police reports all week. The new details on a brazen robbery in West Seneca. A very warm and muggy start to your Thursday, and I'm tracking some showers across parts of western New York this morning. And a popular fundraiser returns to western New York. Taylor's going to show us how you can take part in this mission to help others. Streaming live to start your day, this is Good Morning Buffalo. Good morning, Buffalo. It is 5 o'clock. Thanks for joining us on your Thursday morning. You're watching Good Morning Buffalo with Ed Dranch, Katie Moores, and Seven Weather Chief Meteorologist Aaron Minkowski. Bottom of the hour on the start of a Thursday morning. We'll take you live outside with Skywatch 7. Hazy and cloudy to start the day. Good morning, Buffalo. We're keeping your morning moving. Good morning, Buffalo. At 723, the 21-year-old man accused of killing a Rochester police officer and shooting another was indicted by a grand jury on eight counts. Good morning, I am Mercedes Wilson. Good morning, and I'm Emily Lampa, live at the downtown Buffalo Country Market. I'm super excited to tell you all about it because, of course, there's fresh vegetables, healthy options, and you can take advantage of it during your work hours. If you haven't heard about it, we'll have all the details. Ah, how about throwing some of those veggies on the grill? Summer is not over, folks. We have some barbecue essentials just in time for that weekend party. And check out this cast of budding Broadway actors. We'll hear from the Beauty and the Beast in just a bit. Good morning, Emily. Oh my goodness, <laughs> down here. Yes, Mercedes, I'm having such a good time because who doesn't love a farmer's market? Streaming live from downtown Buffalo, this is 7 News. Well, good afternoon. I'm Jeff Russo. We begin today with developing news out of Russia. Streaming live from downtown Buffalo, this is 7 News. Good evening. I'm Leah Lando. Jeff is on assignment tonight. 
streaming live from downtown Buffalo, this is 7 News. Good evening, I'm Hannah Bueller. Streaming live from downtown Buffalo, this is 7 News. Well, good evening, everyone. I'm Jeff Russo, live once again in Blaisdell tonight at Orion's Landing, offering a new twist on a classic arcade. We're going to show you all this has to offer, this facility, coming up tonight and Believe in Buffalo. Tonight on 7 News at 7, the significant progress police say they're making in solving a nearly 20-year-old murder of a young woman in western New York. Plus, the way these ducks are helping communities around western New York and who needs your help in finding them. I'm very excited for the girls. It's another step in the right direction. We've been fighting for a long time for this. And at 723, the pathway that's now opening up for more girls around the state to hit the max. 7 News at 7 starts right now. Streaming live from downtown Buffalo, this is 7 News. Good evening, I'm Hannah Bueller. There might be a break in a murder investigation that has lasted for more than a decade. Streaming live from downtown Buffalo, this is 7 News. Good evening, I'm Hannah Bueller. Tonight, neighbors in Erie County are voicing their concerns about some changes coming to a local community college. You're watching 7 News with Hannah Bueller, 7 Weather Meteorologist Autumn Lewandowski, and Sports Director Matt Beauvais. Welcome back. It is 11:14. Let's take a look at some of the other top stories we're following for you tonight. Watching Channel 7, WKVW Buffalo.